Welcome to a closer look from Neo Land. He will talk about a base he already reviewed on his channel, but this time takes a closer look on that base. Sit back relax, and let Neo inform you even more about this base. By the way he will also play it, but as he has no talent, please try to keep a straight face. A closer look at the Phoenix SH. A while back I made a video about this base, but now I would like to take a closer look. The Phoenix SH base is a lesser known but a well regarded instrument from Phoenix, a brand that was produced by the Young Chang company in Korea during the late 1980s, early 1990s. Young Chang is best known as a piano manufacturer. But during this period they also ventured into guitar and bass production offering high quality instruments at more affordable prices compared to their Japanese and American counterparts. My lovely assistant Jessica will provide you off camera with some key features of this bass. The Phoenix SH bass is typically designed with a traditional double cutaway body shape, similar to the iconic designs seen in popular Fender models. This shape offers excellent access to the higher frets and is well balanced for playing comfort. The body is made from alder, which is known for its balanced tonal properties. Alder provides a strong, full-bodied sound with pronounced mids. The neck of the Phoenix SH bass is made of maple, which contributes to the bright and snappy tone of the instrument. The neck is a bolt-on design, which is common in many basses and offers a quick, responsive attack with easy maintenance. The fingerboard is made from rosewood, providing a smooth playing surface with a warm tonal quality. The fingerboard features dot inlays for easy navigation. The SH bass is a short scale 30-inch scale length, offering a familiar feel for most bass players and a good balance between string tension and playability. The Phoenix SH bass is equipped with a humbucker pickup. This setup includes a split coil switch. This configuration allows for a wide range of tones, from deep, punchy lows to bright, articulate highs. The bass features a volume control and tone control. The tap coil switch allows for some different tonal characteristics, making the SH bass versatile for various musical styles. The SH bass comes with a standard, four saddle bridge, which provides solid tuning stability and allows for precise intonation adjustments. The bass is equipped with reliable, sealed tuners that help maintain tuning stability. This SH bass is in a bone white classic finish, but is yellowed out over time. Let's take a listen now. How this bass sounds. Of course the guy can't play. The signal flow 
was once again the base into my UED Apollo Twin which had an MPEG SVT simulation running on it I used the ROCK A preset. Sound and playability. This Phoenix SH base is known for its reliable and versatile sound making it suitable for a wide range of musical genres from rock and blues to funk and jazz. This pickup configuration particularly is a popular because it allows players to switch between a thumping mid heavy sound and a bright and scooped tone. The maple neck provides a fast comfortable playing experience while the rosewood fingerboard adds warmth to the overall sound. The bass construction is solid. It offers a good sustain and resonance thanks in part to the quality woods used and the sturdy neck joint. The hardware is functional, reliable and ensures that the bass stays in tune and performs well in both live and studio settings. The legacy and popularity of this bass, while the Phoenix brand was relatively short lived, the SH bass and other Phoenix instruments have gained reputation for their quality, especially considering their price point when they were first released. The, these basses are often sought after by collectors and players looking for vintage instruments with a solid build and good sound, but without the premium price tag associated with more famous brands. The Phoenix S8 bass, uh, short scale by the way, if you didn't know that, like many other <laughs> instruments from this brand is a testament to the high level of craftsmanship that was present in Korean made instruments of this era. It remains a hidden gem for bassists who appreciate vintage instruments and are looking for a versatile, reliable bass without spending a fortune. Okay. Uh, that's it for this episode. My lovely uh, assistant Jessica uh, wanted to say some words to you. Thanks for watching. Until next time. See you. Bye bye. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.